My name is Fashion, and this is my story. The story starts in Zurich, Switzerland. I was on tour, and I attended a Ghostface Killer show for the first time in my life. Now, Ghostface has always been one of my favorite rappers, so I was excited to go to my first Ghostface concert. And in Europe, that was just double, like, it's incredible, you know? Um, so, I attended the concert with my manager and a few more special guests of the opposite sex. We enjoyed the concert. And then later we were invited to a club, ironically enough, called The Club. So we walked from the venue to the club. The young ladies that are with us, they look very provocative, just very provocatively, very um, voluptuous women as well, very nicely shaped, beautiful women, right? So as we're walking, it seems like we walk down the wrong block because we get approached by maybe two or three European goons. <laughs> European goons, but they were dressed nice, so they had to be pimps. They had to be pimps, so. We have a, a friend with us who's translating all the English that, or all the, the language that's being spoken, because we don't understand. We're from America. We're like, what is being said right now? After the man approaches us, it's about him and like two other guys. So they're just, they begin to argue in European, and I'm just lost. I'm like, I don't know what's going on, but it's, something's wrong, you know? It's just the young ladies that, that were with us, they were dressed so provocatively. They assumed that the, they were prostitutes. And since I was dressed as fly as usual, they thought I was a pimp. I mean, they thought the people with me were pimps. And they thought we came to take over their territory and came to set up shop with our prostitutes. So, they got at us. As it keeps escalating, um, it goes from three European goons to four European goons to five European goons to about 20 European guys. The last like couple guys were grimy though. You can tell like those were like the shooters and like the robbers. And before you know it, we're fighting in the middle of the street on the way to the club with 20 or something, I don't know how many Europeans. There was some bottles being thrown, there was some, some weapons being drawn. It was a really sticky situation. The thought I had in the back of my mind, like, I'm not gonna make it home to America. I'm gonna die tonight. I really thought I was gonna be killed that night. Obviously, we survived that situation. No one died. And I don't think I came back with a scratch on me. Yeah, I came back without a scratch on me, so. That was a, that was a pretty um, fun time on tour. What did you learn from this story? I learned <laughs> to, to never trust a big button to smile. We had to pick who was gonna send her home and nobody wanted to send her home, so I said, I'll do it. I said, no one knows you. And then she looked at me and then Dave was like, yeah, you better go home, sweetheart. Then she was like, what? And I was like, nah, like nobody knows you. And she's like, but I can't get home. And I was like, you can take the bus. 